Okay, you're planning to buy tools. You want to know what you want to buy? I'm going to show you something. A lot of nuts in your cars are uh, a six point. And a lot of problem is people, they keep using, uh, using a 12 point socket. Eventually that rounds the corners off and you can't get the nut loose. So, one of the tools you mainly want to buy, if you can, is the six point. Okay. They latch onto the bolt nut better. <clears throat> Most of your wrenches are 12 point. I think there might be a few out there that are uh, a six point. With all your craftsmen, still the best you could buy. That's a nice little torque wrench. When you get your bolts, make sure you're reading the manual where it's foot pound or inch pounds. <clears throat> I don't think you want to use foot pounds on inch pounds. You end up stripping the bolt. And these impact sockets are mainly what you want to use for uh, breaking your lug nuts loose on your uh, tires. I prefer to buy Craftsman tools over Harbor Freight any day. I bought a pickle fork one time. We used it one time and we snapped it. That ratchet looks like it has a nice feel in your hand. A little flex head. Oh yeah, that's nice. And that little wheel just attaches onto the socket, you can spin by hand. That is very nice to have. See your uh Impact socket is a six point. Three there and a three on the bottom. We have a six point socket. See, there's another impact socket. It's a six point. Twelve point rounds the bolts off. Sign up. He gets a lot of mechanics cussing because somebody used the wrong socket. Those little racks are nice to have when you put your sockets all on. I used to have all my tools organized and my nephew's got in my toolbox. It's a mess. Collapsible lug wrench. And the fingers are good in case you drop a bolt and you need to retrieve it. These little mechanic mirrors are nice. You can see behind it the head, what's back there. The big screwdrivers are nice because they get you to pry on something. <clears throat> That's a good oil filter wrench. You can grab onto the filter and squeeze it. Nice little mechanic light. These are uh, handy to have, these code readers, but all the cars are going electric. I wouldn't want to spend a lot of money on tools because 
the switching out over the electric. So. Probably gonna want this uh voltmeter ohm meter right here. There you go, that's to separate your tie rods and things. New cars. That's how you get the fill filter off. Get it cool like that. It's even your nut drivers. Even the nut drivers are six point. Those are nice. And the Allen wrenches. Still, you want to buy Craftsman's when you do a Harbor Freight. Snap on is the best tool, but you may pay 20 bucks for the socket or a wrench. It's a nice little kit, but. Got a lot of 12 points. Most of your nuts on the car you see is a 6 point. Once in a while you see a 12 point, then you need it. <clears throat> Crow's feet are nice to have. Yeah, the most of the wrenches I see are 12 point, but I believe I have seen a six point wrench. Yeah, my uncle taught me at about a six point and a 12 point difference. And a black guy told him one day, he was working on trying to get a part off in a car, a junkyard. No, oh, no, you need to use a six point socket. Yep, universals are good to have. But the problem with auto mechanics is. Maybe you're trying to get 25, 30 years, you get tired of doing this kind of work. Or you end up working on people's cars that don't have money, like me. Yep. And you should have each, these are little extensions, different sizes. Yeah, you want those. And never loan your tools out. Some people don't return them because they're a thief. Because their mom and dad didn't teach them right. So that's a 12 point it might do the job but as you see this impact socket is 12 point out oh, of six point and that will do the job
Yeah, that's a 12 point. There's another 12 point. They do the job, but once in a while you get a little wear and tear on that socket, it'll start rounding off the corners on the bolts. Now I bought, I have some tools that are 30, almost 40 years old. They weren't craftsmen, but they look like craftsmen, and they never failed on me. They never slipped. Cheap wrenches sometimes, uh, <clears throat> the end of the tool will flex, and next thing you know, you're slipping off the uh, nut. Yeah, these little snap ring tools are good to have. Sometimes you see a tool on sale, or it's a good tool still, but sometimes the stamp is not uh, deep enough and it's harder to read, especially when your eyes get bad. Alright, bye, and then my video.